This video will outline the operation of the MXV FI closed loop system, including troubleshooting of the O2 sensor and the O2 sensor electric heating element. The O2 sensor is a narrow band type. Through a chemical process, the O2 sensor produces DC voltage based on the oxygen content remaining in the exhaust gases after combustion. The output ranges from 0 to 1 volt DC maximum. The sensor must be over 500 degrees Fahrenheit to operate properly. There's an electric heater built into the sensor to help get it up to operating temperature faster and to maintain that temperature as needed. The heater is a 12 volt circuit and is completely separate from the O2 sensor portion. In operation, if the voltage output from the O2 is high, greater than 0.7 volts, the air fuel ratio in the combustion chamber is rich. When the voltage is low, down in the 0.1 volt range, the exhaust gases indicate the mixture is lean. On the MXV fuel injected engines, the O2 sensor acts like a lean rich switch and is the main component in the closed loop system. It informs the ECU of what is actually going on inside the combustion chamber. The O2 sensor reports back to the ECU by the voltage level if the amount of fuel just injected was within the air fuel ratio target or needs more adjustment. There are two error codes for the O2 sensor and circuit. P0131, circuit low voltage, and P0132, circuit high voltage. The Yamaha FI Diag tool allows you to read the O2 sensor voltage in real time to determine if it's working properly or not. With the engine running and at least 150 degrees, and the O2 sensor is at least 500 degrees, at idle speeds the O2 voltage will vary as the exhaust gases flow past the sensor and go up to 0.8 volts or higher at full throttle. The target O2 voltage is in the range of 0.7 to 0.8 volts DC. The O2 sensor is a wear item and as the sensor gets exposed to exhaust gases over many hours of operation, the maximum voltage output steadily decreases. So if you see 0.8 volts DC on the FI Diag tool at full throttle, you can consider the O2 sensor good. Under normal conditions, the O2 sensor will last many years, but just like a spark plug, it is a wear item. This normally takes years, but the quality of the gasoline used and many other factors contribute to sensor wear. The O2 sensor can also be damaged and have low or no voltage output. One of the most common causes is a mechanical failure of the engine, allowing a large amount of engine oil into the exhaust system. The oil will burn onto the hot sensor, coating the sensor and preventing it from accurately measuring the oxygen in the exhaust. This could cause error code P0131, low voltage. If the unit is relatively new, more than likely this code will be triggered by an open yellow blue wire or black wire between the sensor and the ECU, or a failed or damaged sensor from excessive oil in the exhaust. If the unit has many hours of service, as we said, the O2 sensor is a normal wear item and the maximum voltage output gets lower after many hours of use. P0132, high voltage. Since O2 sensors generate voltage through a chemical process, as the sensor wears in normal use, the voltage goes down. But a yellow blue wire shorted to either a 5 volt or 12 volt wire in the harness could trigger this code. The MXVFI system has three error codes which are triggered by the closed loop system based on the voltage output from the O2 sensor. P0171, correction amount of injection fuel is beyond the upper limit, which can mean the engine is too lean. P0172, correction amount of injection fuel is beyond the lower limit, which can mean the engine is too rich. And P0174, power enrichment system is lean. It's important to understand that these codes do not necessarily indicate a problem with the O2 sensor. The ECU uses these codes to basically say, the voltage from the O2 sensor is not where I want it to be, and I have to add or subtract the amount of gas injected into the engine, trying to get the correct voltage level. Now this could be caused by an O2 sensor failure, but more common is that these codes are indicating that the air fuel ratio is not within the target range, either too lean or too rich, and the closed loop system must adjust the fuel injector duration more than 25% either way, trying to get the target voltage output from the O2 sensor. P0171, the correction amount of injected fuel is beyond the upper limit. The closed loop system will increase or decrease the injector duration a maximum of about 25%. 171 is indicating that the ECU is having to increase the fuel injector duration more than this 25%, trying to get the O2 sensor voltage back up to the 0.7 to 0.8 range. This can be caused by the air fuel ratio being too lean, low fuel pressure, fuel filter clogged, or one or both fuel injectors partially clocked. An air leak in the intake manifold could also cause the air fuel ratio to be lean. An internal failure in the MAP sensor could also cause this code if the sensor is indicating the air pressure is much higher than it really is. One cylinder not running for either no spark or no fuel can also cause P0171 to be triggered 
because the dead cylinder is pumping a lot of air into the exhaust, so the O2 voltage goes very low. The ECU will increase injector duration to both fuel injectors until the maximum amount is reached, and then set P0171. So it can be confusing. One cylinder is not running, and the other cylinder will be very rich. P0172. Correction amount of injection is beyond the lower limit. This code is indicating that the O2 voltage is constantly up in the 0.8, 0.9 range, and the ECU is reducing fuel injector duration more than 25%, trying to get the O2 sensor voltage to come down. Basically, the air-fuel ratio is too rich. Excessive fuel pressure, or one or both of the fuel injectors are not closing, leaking gasoline into the intake. An ignition misfire will allow unburned gasoline to flow into the exhaust. Or the air filter element could be excessively clogged, restricting intake air. And a MAP sensor failure could also cause this code. The sensor indicating the air pressure is lower than it really is. P0174, power enrichment system lean condition. When a sudden load is applied to the engine, and the governor reacts to open a throttle, more air rushes into the engine, so the O2 voltage will drop. The ECU increases fuel injector duration to maintain the target air-fuel ratio. If the voltage does not increase enough to satisfy the ECU, it will set error code P0174. This code could be triggered by several reasons, low fuel pressure, clogged injectors, intake manifold air leak, or malfunction in the O2 or the MAP sensor. P0174 is commonly triggered as the engine leans out as it runs out of gasoline. Now remember, there is no fuel pressure sensor. If the fuel pressure drops for some reason, the air-fuel ratio will go lean and possibly trigger an error code. It's critical that the mechanic remember to verify the proper fuel pressure whenever troubleshooting a suspected lean condition or running performance issue. The only indication the ECU will have that there's a problem will be that the ECU must increase the fuel injector duration to achieve the target voltage from the O2 sensor, which the ECU will do up to a certain point. There is a limit to how much the ECU will increase injector duration before it will decide to set error code P0171 and also maybe P0174. The ECU doesn't know exactly why it had to do this. It's up to the mechanic to be sure to check the fuel pressure as one of their diagnostic steps whenever these codes are set. These same codes could also be set by a very dirty air filter, failure in the MAP or O2 sensor, or a problem in the wiring harness. There are two error codes for the O2 sensor heater circuit, P0031 heater circuit low voltage, and P0032, heater circuit high voltage. The O2 sensor heater element is a completely separate circuit inside the O2 sensor body. It is a 12 volt device. The heater helps keep the O2 sensor up to the proper temperature, over 500 degrees. Battery voltage goes to the element on the red-yellow wire, and the green wire is the ground side controlled by the ECU. The ECU will turn the heater on a few minutes after the engine has started. The ECU is monitoring the voltage on the green wire and will trigger two possible fault codes. P0031 could be caused by an open power or ground wire or a failed heater element, basically saying there's no voltage coming in on the green wire to the ECU. P0032 says there's no voltage drop on the green wire when the ECU turns the heater on. This could be caused by a shorted heater element in the O2 sensor. Be sure to watch all the other fuel injection system videos and pull them up on your smartphone whenever needed. Thanks for watching.